the big mill wide slabber comes in in uh, different widths for for uh, different sizes of logs and the the both uh, versions uh, we are showing here today uh, we'll be having the 66 inch guide bar from uh, Canon bars. So I think we'll just uh, start right now with just uh, finishing up this log we have here with the uh, with the petrol chainsaw. It's a steel MS880. There you go. And that's that's basically uh, the things uh, the, the the type of planks or boards you can do with the big mill system. I mean, you can take care of of oversized logs that you can't uh, take care of in in any other way. So it's an it's an affordable solution to to mill up oversized logs and it consists of of the the sawmill the rig uh, which holds the the tip of the guide bar together with the with the chainsaw so here we have the the cannon bar double ended 66 inch guide bar and uh, we have uh, uh, chain lubricant from the chainsaw itself and we have an oil pump in the top of the guide bar also so we have oil coming from both directions and then we have these guide rails to guide the milling rig through the log and uh, we will also show you in a minute how we prepare the uh, the guide rails for the next next cut uh, this is the steel ms880 it's a really powerful chainsaw 110 cubic centimeters and uh, over 10 horsepower so it's a uh, it's a massive chainsaw and it's very well suited for for this type of application and also the the chain that we're running here right now is the uh, hyper skip chain from from Oregon works really well when you're milling these wide wide cuts 
Um, yeah. Uh, remember to ask questions in the chat and we'll try to, to answer them as, uh, as often as we can and address them. And if you, go, if you want to know more about our products, you go to logosool.com where you can find more information, you find prices, technical data, stuff like that. Uh, you can also find uh, uh, our web shop where you can order stuff directly and contact information for directly to Logosol here in Sweden and to our dealers worldwide. So check out logosol.com for more information and then you can also find us at uh, Facebook Logosol Portable Sawmills and uh, on Instagram and on YouTube as well. So check that out. Um, now I think we will... Do we have any more questions before we move on? One more time. The, the price of the mill can be found on logosol.com. So go into logosol.com and choose chainsaw mills and the big mill white slabber and you have all pricing online. Do we have any more questions? No, no? not at the moment, okay. Uh, yes, Anders will show you how to set the guide rails for the, for the next cut. So he starts by loosening up the the extra guide rail supports we have underneath. I mean, often the, the value, if you're able to process a log like this, the value you get out of these types of boards for, for tables and bar tops, table tops, and, and things like that is, is often very high. So if you're able to process a log like this, you have most probably paid the equipment by milling only one log. Uh, the uh, the advantage with this system is the the accuracy as well. I mean, milling with these guide rails uh, gives a very stable cut. We have questions. Yes, the 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 guide bar from Canon bars. Uh, sorry, I have to repeat the questions. Uh, uh, if you want to use, for example, uh, a Husky 3120 chainsaw, you can do that. Uh, the guide bars from Canon bars come with adapters. So they fit both the steel MS880, they fit the Husky 3120, and you can also fit the steel MS661. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay, we can take another question. Yeah, hi from France. Uh, what is the minimum thickness you can cut? I can, the minimum thickness you can cut is basically what you want. <laughs> because because you, you actually, this is a template for, for a 50 millimeter cut. So what, what Anders is showing now is that he puts the template under the, the vertical uh, or a horizontal guide that holds the guide bars. And he attaches a plate underneath. So the only thing you do then is you let the, uh, uh, the horizontal guide here just drop down to the next level. 
So depending on the types of templates you're using, you can mill, I mean, all different types of, uh, of thicknesses. So if you want to mill like 10 millimeter boards, it's, it's possible to do that. I hope that answered the question. I mean, you can mill as, as thin as possible, but it's perhaps not optimal to do that. But it, it's up to you. It comes with a, with a couple of templates already. I mean, it's a, it's a ready solution that you can start using right away. And the te templates are included, but you can do your own templates to be able to vary the thickness of, uh, of each cut. So now Anders just dropped the, the horizontal support down to the next level. And now he'll go over to the other side and do the same thing. And I'll show you a bit better this time. Just gonna take up my phone. You're so fast, Anders. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now I believe we have a... So what Anders does here is he put the templates, the template between the, the bottom uh, rail and the top horizontal support bar and he attaches the, the bottom one. And then he drops the horizontal guide to the next cut and attaches it again to the log. So now we're, we're ready to, to go for, for another cut, actually. So really, really easy and, uh, and quick to adjust from, uh, from one cut to the next cut. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when you feed the uh, the milling rig through the log, we have a hand crank here and a line that goes all the way to the other end. So it's really comfortable to, to mill. You don't have to push or anything. You just just let the, let the crank do the work and feed it through the wood really easy. And now Anders is uh, putting the extra supports back just to give it a bit more rigidity when, when milling. And the system itself, I mean, this is three meters long. So you can handle logs up to two meters 50. Uh, but of course you can extend it. It's, it's uh, based on the same type of guide rails that we have on our chainsaw mills, the F2 and F2 plus. So you can extend it as long as you want and just add these extra supports. So you can use it for logs 8, 10, 12 meters long. And it's not many that can take care of logs, I mean huge logs like this. So it's, it's a, a often quite easy to get hold of logs like this because no one else can take care of them. And you have a, a big value in it. Have yeah, we have questions. Uh, does Logothal sell ripping chains? Yes, we sell ripping chains. 
This, uh, this chain that we have on here is the, uh, the Oregon Hyperskip ripping chain. It's a uh, 0.404 inch um, pitch. And it's got, uh, I think I'm gonna show you actually. It's kind of a special chain. I hope you can see this now. This is actually one pair of teeth and all the way over here is another pair of teeth. So it's quite a long distance between each pair and that's actually uh, optimal for, for these, these large, large cuts or wide cuts that you're, that you're, that you're making mm, there. So it's a, it's a very special chain, but works, works really well for, for applications like this. Uh, and we also sell, I mean, normal ripping chains, uh, 3.8 pitch, um, 1.3 and 1.6 millimeter. And I hope that answered the question. Do we have any more questions? Yeah? And what are the two bottles on the chainsaw? Uh, the two bottles are uh, one for oil, chain oil. Because we have an oil pump in the front or on the, on the tip of the, of the guide bar. So we have an oil pump that pumps in oil from one side and then you have the oil tank from the, from the chainsaw itself. And then the, the other bottle is for, for water, so you can cool the, the chain and guide bar while, while milling. Yeah, we can take another question. Uh, what would you say is the minimum size of the chainsaw? The minimum size, I mean, we, we really recommend the, the MS880, uh, which is 110 cubic centimeters. You are, it, it's possible to do it with a, with a 661, which is 90 cubic centimeters. I mean, for these types of applications, you really need a, a really, I mean, strong and powerful chainsaw. So at least 90 cubic centimeters or seven and a half, eight horsepower. Yes, we, uh, if we, we deliver to, to all countries, actually. Uh, we deliver to about 60 countries every year. In some countries we have uh, dealers or distributors, or in some countries uh, we ship uh, directly from Logosol. So if you go into logosol.com and you will uh, be greeted by a, by a map, and then you can choose your country. If there is a dealer or distributor, you will have the contact details, details for them there. Uh, otherwise, it will be our contact details uh, to Logosol headquarters, which is in Härnösand in Sweden. And I mean, you're welcome to, to call and or email us in, uh, here in Sweden as well. So basically, uh, we can ship to any country in the world. Do we have any more questions? No? Okay, uh, we've looked at the, the big mill with the petrol chainsaw, which is a, a really good and, and portable uh, solution. Easy to, to, I mean, to, to transport it because the guide rails are made up into one meter pieces. So you can actually take it apart and fit it in the, in the trunk of your car and go out to the, to the site where, you're, where you want to mill the logs. Uh, and what we have here is the same type of solution, but with an electric motor. So this is, this is I would say, quite unique. 
It's the big mill wide slabber with an 8 kilowatt uh, three phase motor, 50 hertz. So it's, it's made for, for European uh, electricity. Three phase, 400 volt, 50 hertz. And if we don't have any more questions right away, Anders will uh, run this mill as well. Great job, Anders. Yeah. Shall we put it now? I mean, as you can see, it works really well. And it's, it's amazing the power you can get out of this 8 kilowatt uh, electric motor. And it's the same type of guide bars. As I told you, it's, I mean, we, we uh, chose to partner up with Canon bars in Canada uh, because they have the, the absolute best bars. And this is just one length. This is the 66 inch guide bar and we have we offer the the big mill in 66 72 and 84 inch widths and 
all with different guide bars from from Canon. Yes, do we have any more questions? No, we don't offer a power feed for the electric model. We have these manual hand crank system for it. Yes, uh, do you have to unscrew the frame uh, from the log every time? Uh, uh, when we when we reset every when we reset the height, we have to unscrew the frame and move it move it down. So it's not, I mean, we don't completely remove it. As we showed before, we put a template underneath and just lower it down to the next cut. So it goes really, really fast. Uh, so you don't have to unscrew it completely. Just off with the screws and drop it down to the next level. I hope that answers the question. It's a bit windy in Harness Sound today. <laughs> Hard to hear and sawdust flying everywhere. Uh, we have one more question. Hi guys. Uh, I have a home leaf chainsaw. There are some uh, bars uh, from Robert Bob for that saw. I, I, I don't know. I can't answer the question uh, here and now. I mean, if you want to know more about what uh, bars and chains we have that, that fits your... your uh, chainsaw just send us an email to info at logosoul.com and we'll, we'll uh, try to answer that as soon as possible yeah we can we can have a closer look at the two containers <laughs> on the top of the of the milling rig Like so. So this is one container for for chain oil and one for for water. And the one for the chain with the chain oil inside goes down to uh, to an oil pump that that pushes oil into the groove of the of the guide bar, just like on a on a regular chainsaw. So that way we get enough lubricant on the full length of the of the guide bar so one part from the chainsaw itself and one part from here so that's that's how it looks from that side and it's the same type of system on the we can have a look at the electric version as well because it's the it's the same milling rig so you have two containers one for water and one for chain oil and then we have a, an oil pump same type of oil pump that's on a on a chainsaw such as the steel ms880 or ms661 do we have any more questions I mean the 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 speed of cut on a chainsaw. I mean the, the chainsaw or the chain has a has a how do you say wider curve, thicker curve. Uh, so of course the speed uh, of the chain going through the wood, especially these wide boards. It goes slower because it's a lot more material that you that you have to take away um, compared to a bandsaw mill where you have a really thin curve so it's less material that you take away so that goes faster actually I hope that answers the question The guide bar, uh, if you can buy just the guide bar and bar, yeah, of course. 
Uh, I mean, we have, we buy the guide bars from, from Canon and we offer them to, I mean, not only to people buying our big mill system, the wide slabber. Of course, you can buy the, the guide bar and chains uh, directly from us, but I mean, only the, the guide bar and chains. So that's, that's possible. We have a few customers doing it already, so. For the rig, uh, I mean, you can, okay, I can, I can uh, just go through it quickly. You can buy the, the full package, which is the, the milling rig, this one where, the, where you attach the chainsaw and the top of the guide bar. And you can buy the, the guide rails and everything, everything in one complete kit. But if you would like to, it's also possible to only buy the, the milling rig, uh, only. So that, that's possible as well. So you can, you can mix, mix and match uh, the way you like. I mean, of course, it's, it's more beneficial to buy the, the complete system because then you have something to, uh, to start with right away and you get good quality cuts right away. But if you want to know more about our products, go into logosul.com and you can find, you find prices, contact information for us and you can call us and you can send us emails and we'll uh, be happy to, to help you with whatever question you might have. When you buy from Logosol, we always offer a two-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. So that's, that's also worth uh, noting. Do we have any more questions? No? Any more questions? No. Let it come here. No, we can... Uh, shall we prepare the the big mill rig for the next cut and we can can just cut in a bit to show that we've set it to the next height so Anders will just uh, Cut a little bit through the log because now we set it to the next uh, height and then you can just perhaps send in more questions if you have them. We'll answer them right after this. Have any more questions? Yeah. yeah? Uh, is it possible to store numbers in it rather than just slabs? To sol if 
if it's possible to saw lumber with it rather than just slabs, uh, I'm not sure I understand the question really, but I mean, of course you can... Sorry? Does it mean uh, how big logs? Maybe. How big the logs are? You think so? Yeah. I mean it it the the whole idea is to is to cut slabs. I mean that's where you where you gain the most with with equipment like this. Uh I don't think it's really that optimal if you want to cut like small logs or smaller logs. I mean where you gain the most is is cutting slabs out of out of like oversized logs like this. Have I forgotten anything? Did we talk about? Hmm? I mean, we yeah. Uh, when we look look in in europe i mean both in europe and the rest of the world it's it's pretty popular with with this urban wood movement where you take logs from like a city center a large log and make something out of it and where we see that where our equipment comes in good use and taking care of logs that no one else i mean that goes to firewood in, in most of the cases. Taking care of these kind of logs, selling them to, to a carpenter or taking care of them yourself, making nice huge tabletops and, and bar, bar tops. I mean, you, you, can, you can earn a lot of money with an equipment like this. You can get really good value out of wood, uh, wood like this or oversized logs. So it seems to be very, very popular at the moment to, to, do, to do these kind of millings and to sell uh, tabletops and bar tops and these cool furniture. Yeah. Now we have uh, a lot of questions from different uh, countries uh, oh. asking about dealers and how to get prices and trade prices. Yeah, okay, we have questions regarding how to get prices and freight prices. If you go to logosul.com, you can find the, the pricing on the, on the products. Uh, if you are in a country uh, where uh, we don't have a dealer or distributor, you contact us directly and uh, we will help you out by uh, giving you a, a freight cost, either by air or sea to get the, the product to you. I mean, we're, we're really, uh, uh, how do I say it? We are really experienced in shipping our products worldwide because that's, that's mainly what we, what we do. So don't hesitate to contact us. Either we have a contact button on uh, the webpage or send us an email directly or give us a call and we will help you out with the with the price and a quote for for shipping to your to your country. I hope that that was that was clear clear enough. So no more questions. Uh, in that case, thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.